Hello, my friends. This is the video that I made on natural gas spot prices uh, just four days ago on February 25th, 2024. And uh, the price was uh, at $1.658. And my main assumption was that we have to complete uh, the fifth wave uh, in order to complete the entire structure. And then we might have a next leg to the upside. At the same time, I told you that we have to see the ABC correction and this correction uh, might have another leg to the upside that will not have uh, enough volume to confirm its major uptrend, but definitely this uh, leg was also possible. And here is the current price action. As you can see, we were at this point and for now we have this ABC correction and in my opinion, we have uh, uh, the top of our four, uh, fourth wave right here and we have to have one more leg to the downside. And guys, this is uh, the evidence how powerful technical analysis is because previously I caught this uh, bottom at $1.569 and uh, I was anticipating the movement to the upside and it happened. And if you want to enhance your trading skills, if you want to be a part of the community, which is consistently profitable, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, for the first 100 subscribers I will do a giveaway, I will do a technical analysis based on your request on any asset that you might find. And guys, on top of that, uh, for now there is not so many people inside uh, the Discord uh, server, that is why if you join my Patreon, you will be able uh, to have uh, almost 100% of my time completely dedicated to you. And that is uh, how you can benefit even more from uh, this uh, offer. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in this life, can't live it up on. I have to admit that I uh, cover three ticker symbols. One of them is natural gas spot, gas spot prices. Second one is natural ga gas futures. And the third one is uh, leveraged ETF boil. And uh, all of them have quite similar price section. Uh, the only difference uh, we in between natural gas spot prices, natural gas futures uh, from uh, natural from uh, ticker symbol boil is that uh, ticker symbol boil is the leveraged ETF and it has much higher volatility during the same uh, structure. And uh, that is why you have to be cautious with this asset. Uh, but in general, I want to pay your attention on today's video on the natural gas futures. And uh, in just several minutes, uh, I will show you my thoughts and my breakdown uh, of its recent price action. But for now, uh, let me show you what uh, was uh, the fundamental news uh, that drove the price uh, of natural gas uh, for the last week. And here is uh, the news itself. We are on tradingeconomics.com and let me quote to this. US natural gas futures paired losses to trade above $1.85 per MMBTU on Thursday after the EIA reported a larger than expected storage draw. Utilities withdrew 96 BCF of gas from storage, surpassing market estimates of an 88 BCF draw. Natural gas prices are still down more than 11% in February due to an oversupply caused by a mild winter and record output levels. Consequently, storage levels are 26.5% higher than usual. And guys, this number is really huge. At the same time, uh, the ongoing shutdown of a liquefaction unit at a Freeport LNG export plant in Texas means more gas will stay in the country. Producers like Chesapeake Energy have cut production by 30% to address uh, the surplus with other companies like Ontario Resources, Comstock Resources and EKT also reducing drilling and production. And uh, I have to admit that uh, uh, I don't think that uh, this uh, uh, bullish pressure will remain uh, strong for quite a long period of time. That is why we still have to be cautious because the main uh, the main uh, number that is extremely high is this one. Storage levels are 26.5% higher than usual. This means uh, during the upcoming period of accumulation of natural gas, uh, definitely it will uh, be less bullish pressure because of uh, this uh, quite high level of storages. And that is why we have to keep this in mind. So. Let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, 
what to expect next uh, from the price section. We are on four hours time frame. And if I make a breakdown of uh, this movement from this uh, top at $3.388, we can clearly see several waves. Uh, first of all, we might have uh, the following breakdown. This entire is the first one, this is the second, this is the third. We are forming the fourth wave and we have to have one more leg to the downside to complete uh, its structure. And uh, on a slightly bigger scale, we will have uh, following uh, structure. Uh, from this top, we might have this our first wave, second, third will be to the bottom of the fifth wave, then we'll have another leg to the upside and it will be another fourth wave on a slightly bigger scale. And then we will have another leg to the downside that will complete uh, this structure from this top. And only after this bottom, we potentially might have the trend reversal, major trend reversal for the natural gas futures. But so far, it is too early to make this assumption. I have to admit that in both case scenarios, we have to have another leg to the downside. So, if uh, you are more bullish uh, in this case, let me delete this tool, let me show you like this. I don't need this tool, but instead of this, uh, we potentially might have this structure. This might be the first wave, this is the second, this is the third, fourth, and we completed fifth wave. In this case, guys, on a slightly bigger scale, we might have this as our first wave, second, Third, that is uh, the bottom of the third, is right here. Fourth should be somewhere at this point or a bit higher. And another leg to the downside. And guys, I have to upgrade the scale in order to uh, diversify it from the smaller uh, wave. And in this case, we still have a chance, a very high chance to see one more leg to the downside. And the, the difference uh, in between these two cases that I just showed you is that uh, on the second case, on this one, we have only one leg to the downside in order to complete the structure. And then potentially we will have uh, something like this, uh, uh, something like uh, movement to the upside that will have, uh, that will break uh, previous swing highs. Or in worst case scenario, we will have uh, uh, another leg to the downside, then another retracement on a slightly bigger scale and one more leg uh, to the downside. And this uh, consolidation will last uh, for at least several months. So I don't uh, want to dive deep uh, in the future. I just, uh, I prefer to do one step at a time. That is why guys, uh, in uh, the current position, we have much more chances to see another leg to the downside and this leg, uh, it doesn't matter which breakdown uh, is better for you, but uh, we have to have one more leg to the downside. And guys, to be honest, we also have uh, to break uh, this bottom and uh, the less likely outcome is that we have double bottom pattern. Most likely we will have an extension in the fifth wave and this extension, guys, if we already completed uh, the uh, this bottom, the third wave, and uh, this is the top of the fourth, we can project it. And for this case, uh, for this breakdown, I have to pull the FIBA uh, extension tool from this top to this bottom and to this top. And uh, we have 1.618 extension as the potential target uh, for the uh, entire fifth wave. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just want to get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.